He ruled the world of professional wrestling and has gone on to conquer the big screen as well. It's Dave Batista, everybody. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hello. Great to see Hello you again. You Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good to see you. So, so you're at home in Florida, am I right? Yeah, I'm in Tampa, Florida. Wow, nice. Uh, I know you like being over here. I know you like the UK, you like London. What do you like about London when you're here? What are you missing by not being here right now? Um, everything. The energy of the city, the West End, uh, Nando's, I believe. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I am uh, in there two, three times a day when I'm, whenever I'm in London. Wow, wow. Um, but, yeah, I just you know, and friends I've made throughout the years. I just... Uh, I'm particularly fond of London. I've just worked there a lot, and I've made a lot of close friends there, and uh, I, I just miss the energy of the city. I just love it. I like the fact you love London, but if you're spending uh, three visits a day in Nando's, you probably haven't actually seen a lot of the city. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I, I, I introduced uh, our mutual friend, Kumail Nanjiani, to Nando's. Kumail, and, uh, yeah. He is, uh, he is yeah. always facing... He said to say hello to you. Hey. hey. I didn't know you were going to be dressed as an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know I was going to be dressed like this, but he won't be surprised. <laughs> um, you know, it might surprise you to know that only one of us, I believe, here has wrestled professionally, and that is James. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> in, at the Edinburgh Comedy Festival, um, every now and again, every other year, they have an event called The Wrestling, and it's comedians versus professional wrestlers. And I... Well, my wrestler is just called James A. Caster. And I'll enter the ring singing I'm James A. Caster to the tune of I'm a Survivor by Destiny's Child. <laughs> and then I get hit in the face of a tray. <laughs> that's, that's all that's happened every time. <laughs> I have not got a, a, a hit in. Nothing else has happened. And both times, Dave, I have forgotten to protect my face. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'll always be remembered. I yeah. can't... I, I, I'm intimidated talking to you, Dave, because I know that in the world of professional wrestling, I'm a joke. <laughs> well, actually, the... So, the most important thing in professional wrestling is the entertainment value. Yes. yes. So, although you've lost every match, people will remember you being smashed in the face with a pan, and that's what they will take away from it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they will remember, so really, you're a winner. That, what a lovely way of looking at it. That's inspirational. Dave, I'm always, uh, I'm always surprised when I hear that people are nervous when they're established at you, but you still get nervous before auditions, I believe, don't you? I get... I, Jonathan, I'm nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, uh, I, I grew up with a social anxiety, and so to be in situations, even like this, they're not unpleasant, but they're somewhat uncomfortable. I yeah. don't, and I know that sounds odd, because I do enjoy them. I love interacting with people, but I just have an anxiety that's uncontrollable. And sometimes it takes, like, I use glasses and hats as pacifiers to make me more comfortable. I, I don't know what it is, but it's just a social anxiety that, that I've had to overcome. And uh, so it just, it's always, there's always going to be that, you know, I'm always going to have nerves. Before my last wrestling match, and I had wrestled for 20 years, but before my last match, as with every match, I was dry heaving before I went out the curtain. Wow. It's just, it's just a part of who I am, but I also think... You know, it kind of makes me who I am as well. I think you were in Australia at the same time that they were filming the next Thor movie, and so being a Marvel <laughs> fan, I'm assuming there's a possibility that Drax might appear in the next Thor yeah. movie. Can you, sir, confirm or deny this allegation? I can. It's it's so weird. It's, it's you know, this is one of those things you always dance around because you don't want to upset anybody. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things where I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> but you know, by coincidence, I was on. I was on a jet with the rest of the Guardians, mm -hmm. with Chris Pratt, who can confirm and did confirm, but we were there together. Yeah. And then we traveled to Australia together, and we went and quarantined together, and then we all left at the same time, okay. by coincidence. But so yeah, there is a possibility that you would. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's the best. That's the best kind of positive way of neither confirming <laughs> nor denying, but confirming something. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Chris Hemsworth, who plays. Thor, I met him once briefly. He seems like a lovely guy. Did you get to hang out with him much? I did. Um, Hemsworth is... He's one of those guys, man, like, like, you really want to hate this guy. You look at him, and he's just... He's just picture-perfect. <laughs> he's just, like, a beautiful specimen of a human being. And not only that, but he's got the talent to, care, to go along with that. And you really want to hate this guy, but he's just... He's such a lovable human being. He's just funny, and he's grounded. And he's just, you know, like typical Aussie, just super laid back and yeah. easygoing, just, you know, doesn't take himself too seriously. So, no, nah, I love him. I've had nothing but 
uh, pleasant experiences with him, even way back from, you know, Avengers, watching him being Fat Thor. Yeah. You know, he's just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait to see you both on screen in the next Thor movie. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Potentially. Um, you mentioned Guardians, and it's one of my favourite Marvel movies. I know it's James' favourite Marvel movie of all the Marvel Universe films. And I think, can we now... Cos you were, you were wary of doing a third one because there was an issue between Disney, who owned Marvel, and James Gunn, the director, but I believe he said he will do it. So are you signed up for a yeah. third movie? Is that happening? I did. You know, I, yeah, I signed up. And we, it was funny, cos the last time I was there, we had a, a pretty lengthy conversation about that. And thank you, for, again, for being so supportive of my stance. But they did. They, they came back around and they rehired James and he had already been on Suicide Squad, so it got pushed back even further. But he is. We're going to finish this journey together. I'm, ex I'm really excited about wrapping this up because it's, you know, it's a long time coming. And we've been waiting and also the, you know, the kind of uh, the anxiety of not knowing whether James is going to be there with us to finish it. I mean, that left me in a bad place personally and professionally because I was on the outs with Disney. Uh, because I just felt like he was, you know, he was done wrong and he should be there to finish. So we're going to wrap it up. We're going to start filming in November and uh, we're going to wrap this whole journey up. I'm, I'm super excited about it. I can't wait for it. Uh, but I've heard that this is probably going to be your last outing as Drax, that after this uh, movie, even if they make more Guardians films, that you feel that you, you wouldn't be the right person to, to, to play him? Uh, you know, I... I... I wouldn't. And, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, I, I didn't think that was going to be news when I said it because I figured everybody, you know, James has already stated that this third will be his last film. And I don't care to, con you know, continue on without James. But also, you know, that's the way these films usually work in trilogies. So I figured it was, you know, I was OK saying that and, yeah. and people weren't going to be upset. But, you know, there's a part of me that is really excited that people are going to miss this character. I don't know. It makes me feel... Uh, like, I did something right, but, uh, yeah, it'll be it. I mean, by the time Guardians 3 comes out, I'll be I'll be 54 years old, and I just, uh, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to do... I don't want to do... Uh, Dave, Dave, I'm Dave, I'm sitting, Dave we're, sitting, we're sitting in the room with Tom Jones, who just had a number one <laughs> album at 80. Yeah, but he's Tom Jones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I can officially announce that the next Drax appearance, Tom Jones will be appearing as Drax in <laughs> Guardians 4, Return yes. of the Welsh Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, it's been great talking to you. Thank you so much for making time for us. Uh, lovely to see you. I hope to yeah. see you again in person one of these days when things become easier to yeah. move around. Agreed, man. I can't wait to come back and talk to you, man. Uh, Dave Bautista, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, man.